Hi, my name is Catherine Rosen from Board Game Geek. I'm sitting here with Vengadis by Gedpakis from Distillus Games, and is here to talk about their new game, Oath of Brotherhood, The Chosen. So, so please tell me about the game. Oath of the Brotherhood is a worker placement a game for two to five players uh, with a pirate theme, and it's actually very thematic. And uh, contrary to most of uh, worker placement games, there's some interaction in it. There's a, a lot of theme, a lot of uh, interesting story elements and yes, stuff. Yes, exactly. Great. Yarg. So <laughs> the concept of the game is that uh, we're on the pirate's island and a very famous pirate is about to retire and oh. he comes to the island looking for replacement. Mm. So, but he will only accept members from uh, the Brotherhood of Pirates. So we are pirates who want to get in his crew and replace him and uh, sail away. So we have but to prove ourselves. We have to prove ourselves and get to take the oath of the Brotherhood, become members of the Brotherhood. I In see. order to achieve that, we need to we take on missions which score us points, and so the player at the end of the game who has the most points will be the one accepted in the Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. So uh, each of us takes one pirate, he takes his pl player mat, like this. In this one we have Marie Lemont, very beautiful pirate, yes, not as beautiful please. as you, but oh, still. <laughs> and uh, she, each pirate has his own uh, special ability, some starting uh, equipment or resources, toughness track on the top, and uh, we also have some initial coins. So each pirate has his pawn and uh, three of the mates. So little minions that they can use to... Uh... Yes, exactly. These are the workers in the worker placement game that we have. Mm -hmm. So we use this to perform the various actions on the board. So there are actions that give us resources, there are actions that uh, allow us to take some action cards and perform various effects. Very nice art on those. Thank you. Uh, we can go to the tavern and buy someone a drink and get him as a follower. So we take him and he gives us uh, you know, an ability that we can use. And another of the highlights of the game is that we can go to the watchtower over here and explore the island. This Aha. opens up new locations, which are then placed on the board. The artwork, you see, this one goes over here. So the artwork continues. I and see, and adding more things to do and exactly. uh, discovering new areas. New options too. and new action spaces. That's interesting, I like that. Yes, and uh, also the other uh, interesting thing is that there are three resources in the game. You have equipment, uh, allies and some supplies. Whenever we take one of those resources, we put it on our board. So the equipment, the equipment goes here, the allies go here, and the supplies go here. Depending on where I put my each of the resources, I get a special ability. So, for example, if I have my, this one here, it becomes it is ram. Mm -hmm. So if I have ram, I don't have to pay anything on the tavern. I just get the follower for free. Okay. So, so each of these, do you kind of choose, pick and choose where to put your resources? Yes, exactly. And, when you get it, you put it there. Them? It doesn't change after that, but it gives you a special ability. Okay. So the thing is that when, in order to complete missions, you have to go here in the Brotherhood, and you have to spend those resources to complete them. And so, then you lose your special abilities exactly. when you're paying for so them. So this is one of the highlights of the game. You have this dilemma or when to keep the, the resources in front of you, when, and to, when to go them. use them. And exactly. Mm -hmm. Also, there is interaction in the board because there are, in most of the spaces, there are only two available slots. So after the two players go in, nobody else can go. And also, the, the second player that goes in a location uh, has to fight with the first one, so he loses a point of toughness. Ah, OK. So there are ways to mitigate this. Uh, you can have weapons in order not to lose the toughness, or you can uh, use the gunpowder to blow up a location and uh, send the, the workers there, the pirates, away so you can visit. Uh, there are many things that you can do. Yeah. And uh, the game lasts, uh, depending on the number of players, it will last either seven or 10 rounds. And uh, at the end, the player who has the most uh, victory points out of the missions wins the game. Fantastic. So how many players does it play? For two to five players. Two to five players and lasting about? It lasts about 60 to 90 minutes, depending on the number of players. Fantastic. Thank you so much. That looks uh, really interesting. That's the Oath of the Brotherhood, The Chosen from Decilla's Games.